And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday. It's the 23rd of January, 2021. It was on this day, 1922, a 14-year-old boy in Canada with diabetes became the first patient to receive treatment by insulin injection, a treatment developed by two Canadian physicians, Frederick Banting and Charles Best. It's the birthday of the pharmacologist Gertrude Elion, born in New York, 1918, went to Hunter College, majored in chemistry. She was unable to get a job in her field until World War II. Men went to war, and she went to work for the pharmaceutical company Burroughs Welcome, and there she formed a partnership with Dr. George Hitchings. And over the course of her career, Gertrude Elion developed drugs drugs to treat leukemia, malaria, herpes, and AIDS. She won the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1988. It was on this day, 1977, the miniseries Roots was shown on ABC based on the book by Alex Haley, which he based on research into his own family's history of slavery and their origins in Gambia. The program Roots was shown on ABC for eight nights in a row, and about 130 million people watched it. It was the most watched program in history at that time. It's the birthday of the writer who said it is better to have a prosaic husband and to take a romantic lover. The novelist Stendhal, born in Grenoble, France, 1783, author of The Red and the Black and The Charter House of Parma. And it's the anniversary of the founding of Georgetown University in Washington, the oldest Catholic university in the country, 1789, on this day. Here's a poem by Billy Collins entitled, The Present. Much has been said about being in the present. It's the place to be according to the gurus, like the latest club on the downtown scene. But no one, it seems, is able to give you directions. It doesn't seem desirable or even possible to wake up every morning and begin leaping from one second into the next until you fall exhausted back into bed. Plus, there'd be no past with so many scenes to savor and regret and no future, the place you will die, but not before flying around with a jetpack. The trouble with the present is that it's always in a state of vanishing. Take the second it takes to end this sentence with a period, already gone. What about the moment that exists between banging your thumb with a hammer and realizing you are in a whole lot of pain? What about the one that occurs after you hear the punchline, but before you get the joke? Is that where the Wise men want us to live in that intervening tick, the tiny slot that occurs after you have spent hours searching downtown for that new club and just before you give up and head back home? Poem by Billy Collins, The Present, from his collection, The Rain in Portugal, published by Random House and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.